Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We will see here how to create a low polygon tree in the plant factory and use it in an ecosystem in view. Here's the view scene I'm working on. As you can see, it already looks good, but I would like to add trees at the bottom of this canyon. I would like to use low resolution trees because my scene is already 1 million polygons and I do not want to overload my computer. Most of the trees shipped with view are more than 10,000 polygons. My aim is to create a tree that has less than 10,000 polygons in the plant factory. So let's do it. We start with an empty scene and we will work mainly with the nodes here. So let's create a first node and a track segment. I like to change the colors on uh, elements because it's uh, you can see them better. The color is only displayed when you activate this. We'll do it later on. And let's start adding branches. And then change the color to orange. The branches are distributed in a way that does not suit me because it it's they look flat on the tree. So to edit it, let's go to branches on the the trunk segment, and their distribution is can be changed here. Let's go to ninety plus minus forty five. Now you can see that there is a branch that has turned to bright yellow. This is because there is a problem with the uh, joint here. Uh, the, de the mesh density is not high enough to, uh, to, to make the uh, blending and subdivision surface here. The problem is that we want to keep the mesh low. We could hit this button and m use a, a higher density, but we don't want that. So to solve this, you can go to root meshing and click here to use uh, automatic adaptative. Doing this changes the structure of the mesh on the plant. It adds more resolution to where it is needed and less resolution where it is not needed. Here's the uniform one. As you can see, it's less optimized. This is better optimized. Generally, it works. So now that we have our first level of branches, we'd like to put some variation in the branches because they don't look right, they look too straight. So let's go to, in the branch segment, influence, 0.5, and reduce the frequency to 0.5. The branches now look less straight. I don't want the trunk to be that thick at the, bo at the bottom and uh, that thin at the top, so I will change the radius profile. Decrease it here and increase it there. So we have something that better suits me. Now we'll add a second level of branches. Branch segment. We'll add it manually, we'll see why afterwards. Keep them uh, an orange color. This these branches have the same problem than the other ones, so let's do the same thing. 0 0.5 and 0.7. And rotate them a bit. plus minus 15. This looks good but we now see that we have a problem here because no tree ends like in this way. The trees generally fork from this part and then fork again. We'll need to add this fork here manually because the plant factory does not allow it. So to do the to, to add this 
copy the branch first branch level and rename it to tip and connect it to a new child edit it here and here we'll start it from the tip of the segment and yet as you can see it has added it here we'll add some blending so that it blends more evenly and we'll need we'll need several branches so let's click here and add some wall three one now we have branches here generally it doesn't fork this way so okay so we'll have for from two to four branches here let's try some variations all the branches are the same length so we need to change this segment length 4 plus minus 1 and we'll do it for the the other branches 4 plus minus 1 maybe 5 plus minus 1 okay we need a second level of branches for the tip and it has added some branches here we have some slight problems with the junctions so let's correct them branch and then remove the blending we don't need some blending at this point because this will not be seen on the final tree so we have a shape that is correct but we'd like longer branches at the bottom let's see how we can do it so that's the first level of branches we want them longer they are longer but their length decreases, decreases with the the height of the tree let's try to shape the tree using this this changes the length of the uh, bottom or top branches if we reduce this for instance we'll see that the length of this branch re is reduced let's add a tree by double clicking a point sorry and we can change the shape of our tree quite simply from here by changing the length of the first level of branching so here here's how it looks we might want to add some tip branches we are still at 3900 polygons so it's quite good we'll add some tip branches to the first level so let's duplicate this rename it to tip add them to a new child and then change the distribution to the tip of the segment and add some wool three and one what we've done is that we have added some nice tips to the first level branches now we can add the leaves and to add the leaves we'll add a billboard leaves because we don't want it to be too detailed so here are the leaves let's see how it looks with some variations that suits me now we can add the materials let's go back to the trunk and add a material from a preset load the materials and we'll make a twisted oak here's the twisted oak bark so let's add it so you can hide the uh, 
billboards to see what it does. The material goes from the first from the trunk to the branches and then to the tips. Unless you, cho you choose a different material for the branches, it will be the same everywhere. It suits us. And let's add the material to the billboard. Load it from here. And there's a material already existing which is called Twisted Oak Leaf. Actually there are two but we won't be using both, we will we'll be using only one. Here's how it, how it looks. Should be fine for us. So now we need to save it. I will overwrite the tree because I'm already twisted oak. Okay. And to use it in view we need to save it in a different format. Export it to view as a view species. Same name except that the extension is the TPF and not TPFS. Right. Now let's go back to our view scene and edit the material of the procedural terrain to add an ecosystem to it. Actually I already added the ecosystem, so let's load the twisted oak tree and see how it works. Let's populate it, we'll change its presence, altitude range slope range, we don't want it to appear on steep slopes fuzziness fuzziness and in the density decaying of foreign objects and clumping clumping will group the trees in clumps like in real life so we have a, a train that is one kilometer long and we'll populate it Here's how, how it looks with the uh, ecosystem quality defined to wireframe box. And here's how it looks when rendered. We have just doubled the scene density and gone from 1.7 million polygons to 3.2 and we have populated it with hundreds of trees now I still have one problem here because of the uh, little character that is here and which we cannot see So I need to erase some of the ecosystem trees from here. Let's go to, you see there are 2,386 instances. So I'll delete the trees to create a path around the character. Brush flow is set to 1. Okay. And let's render it. Here we go now, the render is finished. We now have a scene that is 3.7 million polygons with 2000 trees. And it looks quite good. Let's save it. And we'll open up another blank scene to see what the tree looks like from close. Here is the studio render scene that I used to preview uh, objects before adapting them for scenes. 
let's load our first our twisted oak as a single tree You can see that it looks quite good. Nice and detailed. Let's paint some instances as ecosystem elements. Again, we load it in the ecosystem and we'll paint single trees. Make sure they are displayed as what my frame boxes uh, let's go as you will see when you use them as elements of a ecosystem the trees have a lower level of detail than the finished full quality tree this is good if you want to use them as distant trees but if you want more detailed ones you have to boost this level a bit and they normally should look a little better a little more detailed so that's it for this quick tree creation process I hope it will be useful for you and that you will be able to create nice scenes with view and uh, the plant factory. Thanks for watching and see you later on another tutorial.